short game, and he's ready to... Well, they are underway, scheduled for 10 rounds tonight between these two. Lance flush with the two-punch combo by Boom Boom. Rusher's doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You gotta block those punches away. It's okay, pay him back. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Right hand crashes home. He never saw it coming. He should tie up. Crusher's in a tough spot here. He could go down with that bad defense. Boom Boom's right hand working well that time. He scored well. He clearly came in with a strategy here tonight, Teddy, and so many times it's, hey, I'm gonna bang that drum. Yeah, he is banging that drum. That drum happens to be the body. And he figures that he's gonna try to move on him, so start doing it early on, and later on, he's gonna have a guy in front of him. Good combination by Crusher. Yeah, I like what I see. I love what I see, baby. He got hit, but he sends it right back. Crusher's hit to the head. And his nose has started to bleed. We count down the final moments of this round. Let's go, All right, breathe. Good. Deep breath. Deep breath. Get some water. Crusher's bounce is back in his step. Start of a new round coming off of a round in which he really took some punishment. A clean, crisp right hand by Crusher. Boy, sharp two-punch combination by Alvarez. Body shot lands, it was the right. Boom Boom's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. How about a return to sender with the left hand? <laughs> Rushers hit by that counter shot. Teddy, I don't think he's got visions of sticking around too long. He's landed power punches early. Yeah, he wants to make it a quick night's work. Keep it going. Threw the straight right hand, but didn't score with it. Good solid shots with the combo downstairs. Hey, you gotta see that coming. Now let's go. <laughs> Little setup punch. One, two, two jabs to the body. Hits him in the mug with the right. Seconds remaining in this round. And the round comes to an end. To an end. Shine when he gets back out there. I mean, just look at the close-up of that cut we're seeing. Yeah, he's got to use his legs. You're right, Joe. He's got to get out there and buy some time for those medicines to work. Fine-looking right hand by Boom Boom. Don't let him get at you. Yeah. Well, something's got to stick. He sends the combination to the body. Jump See, the defense pays nice. off as he gets rid of that downstairs. <laughs> That's 
straight right, unable to connect. Good step back counter punch there. Boom Boom's combination punching here is showing you what good boxing is all about. Three punches thrown, three punches landed. A headshot blocked. Halfway through this round here. Rushers got to shore things up a bit there. That was a destructive counter punch he got hit by. Punch away. That is exactly what the corner wanted to see. A good combination punch by Crusher. Alvarez is scoring with that right hand. Boom booms hurt by a superb hook to the head. He just missed that shot up top. Rusher so dangerous with that accuracy. A two-punch combination landing. Alvarez is using that jab well very early on here, Teddy. That could be a big benefit to him tonight. Well, it's supposed to be, Joe. He has a real good wingspan. I mean, he's got those long arms. No better way to put him to use than to use that jab and use that jab at the right distance. Last 10 seconds. And that's the end of round three. Alvarez is enjoying a lead on Teddy's scorecard the first time we look at the scores ringside here tonight. Although, early on here, it's not as if either man is in complete control of this fight. Rushers snap by a... And yet another big shot comes in. That combination puts him down. Two. So he is able to get up to his feet after that knockdown. But, Teddy, it's what's ahead that's the problem. Yeah, we're getting a peek right now into his heart, into his soul. A stabbing right hand comes in by Alvarez. Work the body, kid. Body shots. Right to the belt line. Do that again. Boom Boom's giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. Crusher's not firing off the big power punches. I got to wonder why. Sometimes a guy is making a solid agreement in his mind that maybe if I don't hit him hard, he won't hit me hard back. He's not confident enough now to throw the punches without worrying about what had come back at him. Get him, get him. Boom out. Boom's right hand scores well. There's the combo to the body. Rushers impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. You're in control. Rushers back. Look at him here in the start of this round. Remember, he got tagged hard in that last round. Well, that's the reward you get when you have a good camp and you get yourself in top shape. Yeah. And that had some bite to it, that right hand by Boom Boom. Go, go, go. That's okay, that's okay. Let it go, let it go. Rushers showing you what it takes to be the best in this business. Good, crisp combos. Boom Boom's doing good damage with the combination punching. Well, right there is a good example of the benefit of combination punching. You miss the first or the second, the third and the fourth, they land. Right to the head with that right. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. How about that counter shot to the head? Downstairs with a right hand. Oh, and they 
decide to trade there. There's a straight right hand. Very accurate two-punch combo by Alvarez. Comes right back with a shot of his own. Nowhere close that punch by Alvarez. Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. Really on the mark with that over the top shot with the right hand. And that's the end of round five. One of his eyes is completely shut. They want this fight to continue on. They want to give themselves every chance they have to win it. What do they need to do? Well, what they need to do is be very calm in the corner, get pressure on that cut, get the right medicines in there, and maybe find a way to fool around in the corner somehow, dump some water, you know, in the corner, where the referee has to spend a little bit more time cleaning it up. They want to get a little bit more seconds. Rusher's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Commits to the straight right. Boom, boom, his opponent is saying to himself, I can't believe this. Every time this guy throws, it seems like he lands. He's very judicious with his work. Yeah, and that's not by accident. You know, that's his temperament. He has that kind of temperament. If you went out with the guy, you talk to the guy, you know, he thinks before he says things. He doesn't just, you know, let his mouth go. Alvarez is hurt bad by a right hand. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. You know, his opponent's doing a good, solid, up off the deck, and now in control. He scores a knockdown of his own. And he turned it around because when his opponent scored the knockdown, he got a little careless, a little lazy. Focus. Alvarez is back up on his feet. Now, what will be interesting to see here is how he reacts in the next few moments. Boom Booms resorting to dirty tactics. That was a head Keep fight. it clean, and guys. And there he's pushed. He's pushed it a little too far with those low blows, and the referee has seen enough. He's going to take a point. Now he missed that right. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Teddy, you saw that coming. You said he was waiting for that. Yeah, what he was doing was he was just pulling that shoulder back a little bit, trying to draw that right hand, pull that shoulder back, be a ghost a little bit, disappear on him, come back with the right hand. Boom Boom's blocking ability is doing well for him there. And that's the end of round six. You saw that coming. You said he was waiting for that. Yeah, what he was doing was he was just pulling that shoulder back a little bit, trying to draw that right hand, pull that shoulder back, be a ghost a little bit, disappear on him, come back with the right hand. Boom Boom's blocking ability is doing well for him there. And that's the end of round six. Close-up look. Rusher's cut even looks worse. And it's up to the fighter now, Joe. For his attitude not to change. You know, we can look at it and we can say, wow, that cut looks worse. The fans That's can look right. at it and say that. That's but the fighter right. must be steady. The same attitude as though he doesn't have a cut. Otherwise, he has no chance of winning this fight. Teddy, you've been in this spot before as a trainer. Your fighter gets rocked, and then you got to make a decision. Do we stick with the game plan, the style, the way that we were, or do we make a complete adjustment? Which way do you go? Well, the first thing is, obviously, you make sure the guys are right to send them out there. Then when you send them out there, you better send them out there with something. You know, you don't send the guy out into the cold with no coat on. So you better send them out there with some advice. You definitely make a change so he can feel confident that it's not going to happen again. You make an adjustment. And you can see he's done just that. Good job on the two-punch combo by Crusher. A smart and resourceful uppercut by Alvarez. Comes right back with some offense of his own. Come on, stay away from no. Come on, man. He comes back with the left hand again. Solid right by Alvarez. And now he's targeting upstairs. Alvarez is sticking to his game plan, regardless of the fact that he's been down in this fight. 
Yeah, and one Brett you could compliment him for it, Joe. You could say he, he understands who he is. He understands his identity. He's going to win or lose with that. But on the other hand, there are some changes he has to be aware of. That's an impactful right hand by Boom Boom. Well struck, solid combination by Alvarez. Boom Boom's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Are you going to let your hands go? You have to. You have to be busy. It's been a good-looking fight here as we start round number eight. Alvarez has done a good job. He's got the lead on your scorecard. However, he has gotten hit tonight. Teddy, he could use to sharpen up that defense. Yeah, well, you know what he's doing wrong? He's giving opportunities. That's a good point, Joe. He's giving opportunities to his opponent because he's covering up, putting those earmuffs on too much. And when he does that, he handcuffs himself and his opponent's taking advantage. A little head hunting with the right. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Little volume punching to the body there. Good return fire that time. Rushers left now getting into the mix. Nice block. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. Alvarez is doing well here with that two punch combination. Boom Boom's right hand scores well that time. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. He comes with the straight right hand. Not guarding his body well at all. Oh, and there you go. Oh, and he goes down again. The question is, can he rise up and continue on? Alvarez is back up on his feet. Let's see what he has now. Good work defensively by Crusher. Plus, he landed that counter punch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he drew it out of him, and then he timed him beautifully. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. What an excellent two punch combo by Crusher. Banking away a body shot with the right hand. Rusher's in the spot. Just scoring the knockdown in that last round. Yo, you feel good. Just like if you're a lawyer in a courtroom and the judge just sustained your objection. You know what? You're winning. Got to be accurate to send the combination to the body, and he does that. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. A crushing two-punch combo by Boom Boom. Comes right back at him with a left hand. A good counterpunch by Alvarez. Alvarez is going with a completely different style now. Teddy, I don't know that that's necessarily the bad thing, but clearly he's thinking to him, he is not in good shape. Look at that. Perfectly executed combination. Alvarez is down. He's going to have to beat the count. Three, four, five, six, seven. Come on, man. Boom, boom's legs are not in good shape right now. He showed some Keep gumption in getting up Baby, off the on, canvas. Chad. I don't know that he's gonna last. Unable to land clean by Crusher. And oh, what a good strong uppercut. Ricardo Alvarez is... Fires right back at him. 
Rusher's got to be really careful there, Teddy. I mean, he's leaving himself wide open. And what's going to happen next? See, you know, he's leaving himself open. He hasn't paid for anything yet, but that will be coming before you know it. Great work offensively landing that combination by Crusher. He's committing to the work downstairs. He puts forth the right hand. And now he's targeting upstairs. Alvarez's three-punch combination there is going to impress the judges. And that does it for this round. In between rounds here, Rusher's eye is completely swollen shut. What would you be telling him? Well, this is going to sound a little tiny harsh, but guess what? This is a tough business. I tell him, you have two eyes, right? Choose the good one. Boom, boom, showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. One. Good work by Alvarez. And now they're trading blows. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. That's a forceful two-punch combo by Crusher. Up top with the right hand. Alvarez's inability to get away from his opponent's right hand is costing. Wow, nice flush. What a big shot. Knocked down again. Unreal. Now you got to wonder what the corner's thinking. Are they going to stop this? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's over. This fight is over. Boom, boom. Not able to beat the count. Knockout loss for...